Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a get ready with me on this look. While I was getting ready, I figured why not turn the camera on. I wanted to do something purple today, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I'm going to warn you, this video has tons of products and I was just kind of going back and forth and back and forth because I was just normally getting ready so I can film another video. But I figured you guys would ask for a tutorial because you guys have been wanting to see a purple look on my channel. So I decided to go smoky and big lashes, nude lip, and a really nice bright purple on the lid. I love how it came out and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So we're starting off by moisturizing the skin and I'm using the Ember Elise Cream. This just leaves my skin really soft and moisturized and then I'm moisturizing my lips with the Jouer Lip Enhancer. And can we talk about these brows? I'm trying, I am attempting to grow them out and it's such a struggle for me honestly. One of them is growing and one of them is not. So I'm using the Anastasia Medium Brown Brow Definer and I like this because it's a lot quicker than just using powder because I am growing them out and there is so much hair everywhere. This just gives me like the lay down, the first product, and then it's easier for me to go in and fill them in with powder. So I'm using a MAC 208 brush and I'm using Anastasia Brow Powder and I like to mix a couple of different colors. Here I was using Auburn, Dark Brown, and Medium Brown. I couldn't find my Anastasia Number no. 7 brush so I used this MAC 208. Um, I wasn't happy with the brush, but it had to do. Now I'm going to clean up my brows. Now usually I use the MAC Studio Finish <laughs> Concealer, but I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And the reason is because this is a lot more full coverage, and it really is going to cover up that messiness that I have down there. And I'm blending that with a Morphe M433 brush, and to lay down the concealer, I used a Benefit Cream Shadow Brush. This has been one of my new favorites to actually conceal the brows. It's the one from Benefit. Now I'm just sharpening them up a little bit and I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylus in Brunette. Love that. Now to cover up that darkness on our lids, I'm using MAC Soft, Soft Ochre Paint Pot with the same brush and then blending it in with my finger. And it's a lot easier to apply shadows when you have a nice base, so I lay down Anastasia Blanc Shadow. Our first transition color, I'm using Makeup Geek Petal Pusher, and I'm using a Zoeva brush, and this is a Zoeva Luxe brush. And this is going to be substituting, like, the light brown colors that I normally use. Because we're using purples and kind of, like, royal purple, we want something pinky in the crease. You can use something brown, but I just like it with a little bit of a lilac in the crease. And then to define my crease, I'm using Makeup Geek Vintage, and I'm using a Wayne Goss brush. Shout out to Wayne, Wayne Goss. I love him. This is the number 19 brush. I watch him a lot on YouTube and I finally caved in and bought two of his brushes and I love them. For the main star product, this is a Makeup Forever Artist Shadow Palette um, Shadow. It's I922. It's labeled as a blush. But honestly, yeah, about that. So yeah, we're going to use it as an eyeshadow. And I'm using... Um, just like pushing motion because it is kind of like a creamy shadow I really had to just push the product in and work in small sections to get the vibrancy now a similar shade is Ardency in Royale and yeah that's really the only dupe that I could find now I'm using Makeup Geek Caitlin Rose which is a foiled shadow and I'm using a Real Techniques shading brush and fun fact when you buy the Caitlin Rose eyeshadow 100% of the proceed Benefits, the Batten Disease Support and Research Association. I had to get that off of the website um, because I didn't know that. I had this shadow and 100% of the proceeds benefits a good cause. So that's always a good thing. Um, now I'm using Makeup Geek Corrupt. I'm basically using all Makeup Geek shadows other than that Makeup Forever one. And this is a Wayne Goss 04 brush. Now this one's a little bit smaller, a little bit more precise. And that's why I'm using it with a black shadow. So I'm just blending that in the outer V and then touching up anything as I go along. With this kind of look, you definitely want to be patient. And you want to just blend, 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 blend because we're using black. And you guys know I don't normally use black, but 
for this one, we wanted to go smoky. I'm using a little bit of a brown shade. This is Coco Bear, Makeup Geek Coco Bear with a Sigma E40. Just to kind of warm things up just a little bit. Now, we just used pink in the crease, so I wanted to bring in a little bit of brown. I'm cleaning up any fallout with a makeup wipe. And then I'm actually not going to do liquid liner, so I'm using that Makeup Geek Corrupt Shadow, which, by the way, is probably one of the most pigmented black shadows that I own other than the Urban Decay shadow and so I'm pushing this product in and this is just going to substitute using liquid liner. I didn't want to do liquid liner because it was just going to take away from the look and this is a Sedona lace brush. Now I'm just applying a quick coat of mascara. This is the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara, one of my new favorites for my top lashes. I love it. And then the Milani Liquid Eye Pencil. This stuff is so black. I love it. So black. <laughs> this is Lily Lashes Bali Lash and I kind of wish I would have done a lash that showed the purple a little bit more. These are very dramatic. I recommend uh, if you're going to use Lily Lashes like something like Miami, something a little more spaced out so you can see the beautiful colors. But I use these because I was just in a dramatic mood. Now I'm using Makeup Geek Voltage in the inner corners as a inner corner highlights and now let's move on to the face i'm using smashbox primer water this really just hydrates and then this primer is a smashbox photo finish primer an oldie but a goodie that was probably my first primer that i ever purchased so i had to show it some love this is estee lauder double wear in dawn and i'm just dotting this around um, just to get the most coverage out of the foundation to blend that in I'm using the LC glow enhancer LC cosmetics and this is just going to make the foundation a little bit less matte and it's going to obviously give you a glow but I really like mixing in something like this into my foundation routine because I have dry skin the Estee Lauder is full coverage and matte so I like to just mix in a little bit of some oil of some sort I'm cream contouring something you rarely see me do but this is the cover effects click stick and I'm using the shade N100 which is actually a foundation shade and you don't have to go as ham I didn't know how pigmented this was going to be and it is super pigmented so I'm using a MAC 197 SH to blend now the, the SH just stands for short handle so this is the MAC 197 it's a dual fiber kind of like a flat brush and this is amazing to blend a cream contour. I got this from Angie. She was using it and I had to run out and buy it because when I saw her blend her cream contour with this, I fell in love. And then I'm just blending the excess with my Beauty Blender, which still has a little bit of that Estee Lauder foundation. And by the way, I use the shade Dawn. I hope I said that. Now I'm using Makeup Forever Concealer. This is the shade Y23, which is a really nice yellow shade. I really wanted to have a bright, bright under eye today because I'm going to be smoking out that lower lash line. You want to have a nice balance. And I don't know, when I think smoky, I think Kim K, and then I think really bright under eyes. So I'm baking with the RCMA No Color Powder. This is just a translucent powder. You can use uh, the Laura Mercier, but the RCMA is cheaper, and I love it for dry skin. It doesn't dry me out. I'm setting that cream bronzer with Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzer, uh, setting that cream powder because I didn't want it to be wet. Then I'm wisping away the RCMA No Color Powder. I didn't want to leave it on too long because I've been pretty dry lately. Um, I don't know why, but my under eye has just been a little dry, so I don't like to leave my baking on for too long. Shout out to Noe in the back. <laughs> now I'm using um, MAC Margin Blush with a Morphe E4, which is sadly discontinued, and I'm dying because I only have one of them. Like, seriously, Morphe, you need to find some E4 brushes in the back and put them in online, please. <laughs> now I'm using Laura Geller Gilded Honey with this beautiful fan brush from Sephora. I love it. It's so soft. And then I'm tight lining and also applying some eyeliner to my waterline, that same Milani one, super pigmented and black, and it doesn't go anywhere. Now, I'm going to smoke this baby out. A uh, little quote that I say is, the only thing I smoke is my eyes. And I'm using a Kat Von D brush just to blend that out. This is my favorite brush to blend out my lower lash line. I seriously need like nine of these because it's that good. And to apply it, I use a Cosetti D230 brush. It's just a nice, small, precise detail brush. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there, I promise. <laughs> I'm cleaning up my brows and defining them a little more with the Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. As always, I'm using a Zoeva Winged Liner Brush. This is another brush that I have like eight of them, and I swear I need like ten more. It's that serious. Now, I'm just brightening up under the eye and just kind of 
cleaning up anything that I want to clean up and I'm using the LA Colors I Heart Contour Palette with a Morphe E46. I like to bring that yellow powder right up onto my nose. It makes the nose look a little slimmer and I'm just applying some lower lash mascara and then actually contouring my nose. You guys know the drill, the La Masqua Heroin. I was deciding which nude lip I wanted to go with and I'm actually using the Ofra Cosmetics Sao Paulo. This has been a go-to for me. I'm seriously done with this one. It's that good. I do have a coupon code for Ofra. Yay! Woo I'm so excited. Um, yeah, just wanted to mention that. Now I'm using a Gerard Cosmetics Share Lip Liner. I love this lip liner. It's not too, too dramatic, but it still contours my lips and it makes them look a little plump. And now I'm using the Sleek Highlight Palette. Yes to the Sleek Highlight Palette. Seriously, you should buy it on eBay, Amazon, wherever you can find it. It's really good. And I'm applying some gloss. That's Kylie Cosmetics So Cute Gloss, which I love. It's so cute. And then Final Glow is the Artist Couture Illuminati. You guys know I have to finish off with some Artist Couture Highlight Powder. Drenching myself in Fix Plus, and that is the look. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I love you so, so, so much. Thank you for all the support that you've been showing me, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.